You're packing your diaper bag! But what do you pack? That is such a good question. And today, we are going to do something totally different. A diaper bag swap. So, I'm going to look through Erin's diaper bag and she's gonna look through my diaper bag and we did not plan this at all so I have no idea what I actually put in there. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? What's up? I'm Liana. And I'm Erin. And we're a, a mom's, mom's best friend. The YouTube channel to help make your mom life a little bit easier. If you like what you see today, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment below any feedback and let us know what you have hidden in your diaper bag. Okay, Erin, here's my diaper bag. I don't know what's in it, but we're gonna find out. Oh, oh, I'm scared oh. to let go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is fun. So this bag is actually just a book bag from Target. It's something I wanted that my husband would feel comfortable carrying as well as me, so nothing too girly. And I have a boy baby, so I wanted like a green bag. That makes sense. Oh, what do we got here? <gasps> <laughs> oh no! Okay. Oh my gosh! So um, maybe like a napkin for spit up, but I do see maybe some lipstick here. <laughs> so it might be like I don't know, like a snot rag or something. <laughs> that may or may not be clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like it's very clean. But I, I'm sure I have some dirty, like used things in my diaper bag too. Okay, so what is this? Those are alcohol swabs. Okay, so maybe if there's like, if you just want to clean your hands or maybe if you get like a small cut, I would say this is probably good to have, but what do you use them for? So I actually use those when my baby's toys or binkies fall on the floor, like when we're out at like a park or walking or something. I just use an alcohol swab to clean it and then I'll let it air dry for a little bit and then give it back to him. That's a great idea because um, I definitely wouldn't have thought of that to carry. I just have like, I'll just wipe it off with a baby wipe or something, but that like really kills the germs. You have a lot of these in here. Yeah, I do. Oh my goodness. That's good though. Oh, <laughs> so we're, oh, no. so we're uh, uh, suspicious napkins. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> More alcohol pads. Let's just, oh my goodness. Yeah. Right. We got a, yeah, antibacterial hand wipe. Very clean. That's very good. Um, another one looks like it you might have gotten this from the hospital. Yep, I got those when I was giving birth, so I they've been in there a long time. <laughs> and then um what does this say? Disinfectant wipe. So yeah. did you so I'm guessing like maybe you made your own disinfectant wipes? Actually those are um seventh generation disinfectant wipes, the brand. Okay. And I have them in there from when we were flying up with the baby. I couldn't bring like an entire package. Okay. So I just put some in a Ziploc bag and we would like wipe down the um, uh, airplane seats. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Especially during the coronavirus, right? Yeah, this is kind of like my coronavirus pocket where I have all my disinfectant stuff. <laughs> all right, we're going to open up the big pocket now. Yeah. Oh, maybe let's actually take the side pockets. Yeah. Think baby. So, this is sunscreen. That's very good to use, oh my goodness. Yeah, especially because we live in Texas and the sun is really intense. So, my pediatrician told me that I can actually use sunblock on a newborn, at least where we live here, because the sun is so intense. Okay, we got a mask. <laughs> Face mask! Yeah. Always, yeah, always good to have one with you and you take your diaper bag everywhere you go, so that's a good place to keep it. Oh my goodness. All right, antibiotic ointment. So is this for the cuts? Yeah, so that's for cuts. So Hudson cut his little face with his nails recently, and so we were putting that on and haven't taken it out of the bag. <laughs> is this something you pick up at like uh, Walgreens or something? Like yeah, that? you can buy it off Amazon or you can get it at the grocery store. It's basically like a Neosporin. Oh, watermelon lemonade, antibacterial hand spray. Hand, uh, what, it, hand yes, sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. I bet it smells good. It does, that's my favorite mm -hmm. smell. And it's I've so actually good. refilled it with like the store brand um, hand sanitizer. 
So it's kind of diluted a little with the smell, but it's still a really good hand sanitizer. Very nice. All right. Anything else? <laughs> All right, let's open her up. All right, must haves. Wipes, you must have wipes anywhere you go. Diaper yeah. changes, dirty hands, dirty face, dirty toys, dirty surfaces, right? <laughs> yeah, you need baby wipes all the time. Up until probably age seven, you need those baby wipes. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. So this is a breastfeeding cover. Mm -hmm. You put it over and just for privacy for you and your baby. Yep, so we can nurse wherever we are and feel comfortable and covered. We've got some more napkins. Oh, those look like maybe the clean <laughs> yeah, ones. These look, these look clean. <laughs> uh, okay, so it looks like we have a burp cloth. Oh, that might be dirty. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, burp cloth. We got an outfit here, so cute. We got a little bib. Yeah, we always, whenever we leave the house, we always have at least two backup outfits for Hudson and for mom and dad. Because if he spits up on us, uh, we're gonna need a change of clothes. <gasps> Look how cute this is. <laughs> I love that onesie. It's his little fall onesie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see what else. We've got a little, I mean, a like oh, a, a changing pad liner. It's a changing pad liner. This is good for on the go. You don't, I can tell that you're really worried about germs and that's good. Mm -hmm. This is so your baby's bottom doesn't touch other baby's bottoms or whatever. Yeah. Whenever you go change them in the restroom, that's good to have. Yeah, absolutely. And we just flew, so we would put that down like on the airplane seat um, just to let him like stretch out a little bit. So, yeah, that's good. That's good to have. Okay, so, I mean, come on. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Little shirts. Yeah, like I said, we need tons of backup clothes because if he has like a leaky diaper or if he spits up, it's always great to have backup clothes for when you're going out. How cute are these outfits? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. Look at these little suspenders. <laughs> yeah. I can't take it. He's got to have style too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Little pants to go. Yeah. Along with it, what is it, corduroy? Yeah, is that corduroy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love all of this. Okay, let's see. More burp cloths. Yes, burp cloths. <laughs> Our baby is a spitter upper, so we can never have too many burp cloths. Let's see what this is. Maybe another changing table pad? Yeah, a changing pad liner. It's always good to have an extra one. Now that he's getting like more squirmy, we don't use it as much, but especially when he was like a newborn and didn't move too much, those were really helpful. I am so surprised that you can fit all of this stuff <sighs> in this bag. Yeah, it's like a Barney bag. And diapers. You had to get have diapers. I was actually getting a little worried we didn't have diapers in there because you're getting pretty close to the bottom. <laughs> and, then, and I'm like, do we even have diapers in our diaper bag? Yes. And little baby socks. Little baby socks. Oh my gosh. Okay, anything else in here? Let me check the pocket. I like this because it has little compartments inside. And oh, and we have some infant Tylenol. Yep. So I guess if they get fussy or have a headache and you can't calm them down, maybe they have a, you know, little yeah. pain going on. So this is good to have. Yeah, um, it's really great. Like if they are if they're teething or anything, we also try to keep Benadryl in the bag. So if there's nothing else in there, I'd say that's generally what I pack. But normally, my husband and I have a note on our phone, and we check off what we need for the day. So I think we're missing a few items that we normally pack, but that's a pretty good picture of what a typical diaper bag packing is for our seven month old baby. <laughs> so now it's my turn <laughs> to look through Erin's diaper bag. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, so this is my diaper bag and this is 
literally what I brought over to film today. Um, I, I didn't know about this impromptu diaper bag reveal, so I brought the bare minimum. Just to give you context, um, we live less than a quarter mile away, and so, <laughs> yeah, and I have a two and a half year old. So this is like a bag of just like coming over for an afternoon. Yeah, for a few hours. Yeah, yeah. and we have a lot of the things that Aaron would need, like diapers and wipes, not diapers, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of the same <laughs> items here, so she didn't need to pack everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited! <laughs> Let's see what's in the front pocket. Nothing! <laughs> it's empty! I like it, minimal. Okay, let's jump right in. The main zipper. Okay, first thing I see is diapers. Yes, you can't have a diaper bag without diapers. It's in the name. And these are our favorite brand too, Huggies. I love Huggies. Next thing is wipes. Yes, you need wipes no matter what age, they need wipes. Yes. You never know what kind of mess you're going to get into. And they kind of come in handy for you too. Like if you feel like you touched something that was kind of gross, then you can use them yourself. That's so true. <laughs> yeah. After I use hand sanitizer, sometimes my hands are sticky. So wipes are like a helpful way to keep your hands clean. Exactly. Oh, is this the dog that I bought, Ember? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, having a toy in your diaper bag is so key. I don't think we packed one in our diaper bag, but we always try to have toys for our baby. Yeah, gotta it, keep them entertained. Yes. <laughs> Look how cute. I bought this for her. I don't know if I mentioned <laughs> that already. I think I did. Oh yeah, you need a sippy cup for a toddler, for sure. Yeah. That's water. <laughs> water, yeah. What are the things that you normally bring like for liquids? Um, water, milk, juice. Yeah. Those are my top three for liquids. Yeah. Gotta have uh, something for them to snack on and, and drink. Speaking of snacks, popcorn! <laughs> yes, I totally understand why you packed popcorn because a toddler is always hungry and looking for a snack and this is a really great snack for toddlers I would think. Yeah, Ember loves it and she's always asking for it and they have a microwave. <laughs> yeah. So I thought to bring it over. That's great <laughs> and I love popcorn too so was that for me? <laughs> Another sippy cup! So that used to have milk in it, but we've been here a little bit, so it's kind of all gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw her drinking this like <laughs> all day so far. But sippy cups, I love that you have two options because I feel like toddlers love options. Yeah, for sure. They yeah. do. You know, sometimes they switch it up and you, like they'll be like, oh, I want milk. I'm like, oh, I only have juice. Do you want juice? And they're like, no milk. And then you gotta, you know. Give them a choice. Give them a choice. You know, it's better to have options for them, like you were saying. Yeah. Crackers. These look like Brits crackers, I yeah. think. And they're like the little packets. Oh, and cute. so, like, you can just throw a little packet in there, and she really loves them. Aww. Just a little snack of roux. I love Ritz crackers anyway. Yummy. And, ooh, it looks like gluten-free applesauce and no sugar added. I love that it's a little pouch, like, with a lid, because applesauce can be so messy. Yeah. And this looks like a really, like, non-messy way of eating applesauce. Exactly. There are some occasions where she would, before, like, squeeze it before she put it in her mouth. I'm like, no, Ember, put it in your mouth first. Oh, my <laughs> and then gosh. Squeeze. And then yeah. she knows now, but we've had a little bit of accidents yeah. <laughs> in the past. So I love that this bag is like waterproof. That is, did you choose to pack in a waterproof bag? Well, I have a, a like a standard traditional diaper bag at home, but since I knew I had to carry a lot over here, like some equipment and stuff, I decided just to do the big bag and put it all in there. Yeah. So it wasn't something, if it was a day at the beach, yeah, I would totally go for this. Um, or if like there was there were snow, then I would definitely use something to keep everything dry. Yeah. Wait. What do you mean snow? Because uh, we're going up to Montana. Oh. In December, okay. So it's like yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. We're in Texas. What? <laughs> am I missing something here? Okay. I love how big this bag is. It's so like I love the size of that bag. So what kind of things like did you not pack that you normally would? Um. 
it, I don't know. I feel like we don't really go anywhere for longer than a few hours. So I feel like this is pretty much essential. I probably wouldn't bring the popcorn because we don't have like popcorn or microwave in the car. So that's something I would leave out. I'd probably like schedule my day around to where I feed her before we go. And if she gets hungry on the road or when we're out and about, I would just do like, we would just do a restaurant and get her some food there. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds good. Cool. Well, this was really fun and I will be sure to leave any links below of products that we pulled out of our bags, but I feel like that really covered most of what you need in your diaper bag. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and like we said, my baby is seven months and her baby is two years old. So that gives you an idea of what to start with your diaper bag. Let us know in the comments if there's anything that you pack in your diaper bag that we didn't mention. Also, do you even bring a diaper bag? Let us know. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you. Be sure to like and subscribe and share with a friend that you know.